she's driving me back home, and she says, Dr. Welsing, I hate to admit it, but on all social occasions, when it's only white people present and no black people, she said, we are talking negatively about black people. And the assumption is, is that every person present is in agreement. And I told her, I didn't get upset. I told her that I understood that they were simply talking code about white genetic survival, where the black person has to be the enemy, the point of attack. Don't we see it every day when people are talking about President Obama? We see it, it's right in front of us. You know, you can do a call, do a show call at some time where you say all the black people who are employed and who have jobs and who work with white people, mm. have the black people call in who are satisfied with their rate of promotion and their salary compared to their white co-workers. You won't get any calls. Those are the people who come stumbling into Dr. Welsing's office in a state of traumatic stress about how they are being demeaned and mistreated on jobs they have to have. See, somebody wants us to believe with these movies about slavery that that was some point in the past. People just have updated clothes. But you have people who classify themselves as white who feel it a necessity, consciously and or subconsciously, to beat up on and demean and harass black people on the job. Or if they've gone too far, to force them out of their jobs. This is going on, and this is why I say you have a call in one time and say, all the black people, please call in. If you are satisfied with what's happening to you in your employment situation in 2013, who are the black people who are being laid off? Who are the black people who are in mortgage foreclosure? So when somebody calls in and says, why is she always talking about racism they ought to say it's too bad she's the only psychiatrist in america who has the courage to talk about the reality 